Hey there, it's BitB, and welcome out to another BitB stream. Thanks for coming out. It is Wednesday, and I am playing some more PC Building Simulator. Oh, hello, Temp. I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing good, too. How's your day been? Anyway, that was a little bit of a glitchy mess. I don't know. It's been a while since I've had a, um, a weird issue where suddenly, like, all of my streams were lagging for some reason. Peco mode? What does that mean? Let's see. Everything seems to be working as it should. Hopefully. I don't know. If there are any weird hiccups, let me know. Because we're currently running off of a different server. I guess the server I'm usually connected to decided to up and destroy. Okie dokie. So, last time we left... I mean, there's not much that I could say about last time we went off. At, at the end of the day, we're building a whole bunch of random computers and attempting to take over Tim's computer company or whatnot. So, that is a plan. Also, this is really last-minute rushed put together, by the way. Like, literally, like, about a minute before the uh, show actually started, uh, I was, like, scrambling to get everything set up and ready to go. So, I don't know. We're, we're kind of in a, a fun little rush thing today. What build? Dell? Mac? <laughs> Linux! Trick question! For some reason, there's no classes Thursday and Friday, so you're free for a bit. Woo! Sweet. Cuphead is coming to Switch. Not surprised. There just seems to be... I mean, eh. That's one of those games that I feel like would be on everything underneath the sun. Or some hardcore exclusive. One of the two. It's that good. Here we go. Let's actually start PC Building Simulator. Why not? Here we go. Oh, yeah, and we also need to turn on the PC audio. Holy crap. Can you build a computer that can actually run Minecraft to be stable? You know, that'd be really fun if you could uh, run programs inside the computers. But for the most part, uh, I mean, in theory you could, but actually functionally in-game, no. Listen to this hard rock. Okay. Now, once again, it's time to play that little game of, um, what the hell did uh, little old Bitby leave for himself? Hopefully nothing too hard. Anyway, oh, oh, there we go. Minecraft seems to bring any computer to its knees. Well, that's because Minecraft is crafted literally in craft paper, as opposed to anything standard, you know, like C plus or something. Cuphead was originally a Microsoft exclusive and was on PC and Xbox, and then Nintendo partnered up to bring it to Switch. Really? You know, actually, I am sort of remembering something about that now that you say it. Dude, that is really freaking cool. <laughs> if I rant, you freaking called it. Hey, shush. Whatever. I'm having, I'm having conversations. I talk. Well, I guess while we're talking about stuff, you know, you're talking about Microsoft and things... I've said this on the stream multiple times, but I'm still super hyped for Halo to be coming out from PC. Holy shit! I haven't owned a PC game for Halo ever since Halo 2, and Halo 2 sucked balls. Oh, um, Mintius Lee over on Twitch. I don't like being on Twitch. It's rather lonely. Oh, fair enough. If you want, you can jump over to the, uh, the gaming tab over on YouTube. There should be links underneath the Twitch channel. Or just somewhere on my, uh, Twitch channel that'll send you to, uh... You know, my, my, stri like my stream YouTube, my regular YouTube, and all those places. And that's where a lot of the people in the chat currently are. Oh, Tampa's never finished Cuphead. Well, I have never played it, because I don't think I need that high blood pressure. Okay, let's see what I left myself with. How about that? T technology, the bane of my life! Oh, boy. Right, I remember Bruce, Bruce Fencliffe. Let's fix his computer first. How about that? Um, yep. Certainly. Never could beat the clown or the dragon. Yeah, again. I don't need that stress in my life. But no, funny enough, I've been one of those holdouts that I have not been buying any of the Halo games ever since, I believe, Halo 3. No, uh, it was Halo 3 ODST that was the last one. And then I'm like, okay, you know what? I, I'm waiting for these games to come out on PC again. I don't care how long I have to wait. I'm, I'm, ju I'm just going to wait. 
Grim Matchstick or Beppy the Clown? Ooh. I have no idea because I've never played those games. Okay, so this guy, uh, something has gone wrong with his PC, and I need to diagnose what it was. Let's see if he has any specifics about it. Computer has failed once more. This time, the thing won't turn on at all. Goodness only knows why. I can only assume it died out of desperation. All right. Let's go ahead and start this thing off with just some regular old troubleshooting. Let, let's see what happens when we actually try and run it. Oh my god, when I get the auto connectors, I'm going to be so happy. There we go. The one on the rails. Okay, apparently that's Beppy the Clown. All right. Um, shoot. I'm pressing the power button and nothing's happening. So, you know what that tells me. It sounds like his power supply has died. So, let's go ahead and take that out. Oh boy, I have to unplug everything under the sun. And one. Right there. Oh, and also you. Well, shoot. I forget. Uh, I feel like I probably didn't go and pick up a replacement um, replacement power supply. I think I would just decided to like wait on this. Let me see. Power supplies. Broken. I need to go and get him a new one. Shoot. Well, luckily, he's going to wait for a very long time before uh, I have to worry about anything. I don't think he ever complains. He's just, just like, I don't care. Who gives a shit that apparently my electronics are dying on me? And then there's this song. Let's see. I'm trying to think if there's anything... Um, Anything of note recently that's happened that uh, is really cool that I wanted to talk about? Tamp says, I feel PC building streams are the best time to talk to you. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. That's when I am the least distracted by, like, random crap happening in the games. That and this is my freaking element. Oh, yeah. I don't know if anybody else has heard this, but here... It's nowhere near perfect, and I also don't have the voice or the inflection to be able to pull it off, but... I made a new voice filter! Oh, shit. Sorry. I've destroyed everyone's ears. My bad. Here. Can I, um, can I adjust that somehow? There we go. All right. Is it working properly now? Yeah, all right. Seems to be. It was supposed to be Claptrap, but, um... Yeah, I kind of blew out your ears, so I'm sure you probably can't hear anything. No, that took me a while. That That's a lot, of, a lot of wizardry and a lot of filters in order to make that work. Who? <laughs> that is so unfortunate. You know Borderlands? And uh, do you know, like, the, the little annoying robots? The clap traps? Unfortunately, Borderlands is not that popular. And I say good, because um, Gearbox is kind of assholes. What's a clap trap? Again, I think it's fitting that he uh, currently lives in obscurity. Okie dokie. Well, there really isn't anything that I can do with this computer right now, so I'm going to pop it down. What about you? Okay, replace the hard drive. Uh, what? Did I get a replacement hard drive for this? If I were smart, I probably did. Da, 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 where, um, storage. I have a hard drive in here. See, where are the hard drives located? I think it's in the back. You have heard of it? Okay. To what extent? I remember I played uh, I played Borderlands 2 with my buddies a really long time ago. Um, we all kind of collectively uh, have shunned Gearbox just because it's... Oh, they, they've made some really crap decisions uh, when it comes to video games nowadays. So it says to replace the hard drive straight up. So I guess this is broken. Okay. Da -da -da. When you first heard a claptrop, you you swear you thought he was from a portal game you missed. <laughs> Why is that broken? Hold on a second. I need to check this. Okay, that should work. 
<laughs> Bit BRB. <laughs> How have you not seen that? Yep, I went for the pun. <laughs> Harrow 101 has a voice changer for portal tutorials. Ooh, neat. Oh, Harry 101. Um, oh, isn't he the guy that made like the Cores series? I seem to like that, that. I seem to be recognizing that from somewhere, and I don't remember where. I sounded like Fandroid for a second. I do not know who Fandroid is. <laughs> Claptrap says shit. The movie. I, I missed a whole lot of Mint's uh, messages. I'm sorry. My friend of yours is playing Hat in Time. So I guess this means that that one claptrap thing was actually okay. So here, I'm going to reload it. I feel like I'm going to have to edit this out later. Oh, well. My friends call me claptrap. Oh, okay. it's, it's still a little bit abrasive. Give me a sec. Mm. With you. I mean, abrasive is the entire point, but I don't want to be too obnoxious. There we go. Anyway. So, yeah, I, I was working on that just out of complete boredom because a friend of mine was talking about... It's just, actually, we were talking about Borderlands 2, and, um, you know, just the, the silly characters. And I actually stopped, I'm like, oh my god, I have not made a claptrap filter. That would be amazing. I think it's as close as I could possibly bring it. I think. Just overblown enough. Okay, so back to what I was doing. I was replacing the hard drive. There's the broken one, and here's the fixed one. Although I suppose now I'm going to have to... Here. I'm going to have to reinstall the OS considering I just replaced the entire thing. Which is something that I like. Now it's actually accurate to what computers actually need when you completely tear out the hard drive. It just it doesn't have sentient programming sitting in the background. Sounds pretty legit. Thank you. Um, to give you an idea of how complicated the filter is, though, it requires... Two layers of my voice, and then a total of about six different filters on each one of those layers. <laughs> you missed the last few minutes. Steam uh, Stream broke. What did you miss? Not much. Just me attempting to try and fix the voice filter. Which I did. I think. Does it sound fine? I think it does. Okay, dokie, let's put this computer back together, shall we? Yeah, the stream's still going fine, right? Yeah, yeah, nothing's cut out just yet. I don't know, do you just have bum internet where you are, Tim? that. Alright, if everything works the way it should. Your friend's really confused. He thought he was supposed to feed the apples to the dwellers. Hmm. The stream's fine now. Uh, did I check out Harry 101? Very convincing one. He has a tutorial. Oh, um, I was talking about Harry 101. Isn't he the same guy who made the uh, Portal Cores series on YouTube. That's it, like that's kind of what I am reminded of Harry 101. And actually, I didn't even um, no, I didn't even follow any kind of tutorials like that. I just went ahead and um, made one myself. That's him. Sweet. No, I just uh, I made that because I wanted the sound of, like a very tiny, like, you know, a, a, a tiny little robot. I call it the Bean Robot. And it sounds enough like a portal robot. I'm like, yeah, that works. He also made the portal nightmare before Christmas parodies. Ooh. And Jaluxia has jumped over to Twitch. Oh, no. It's the Wild West. Anybody can be anywhere. Okay, so that one's fixed. That one's... Oh, well, hold on a moment. 
Oh, right. I can't do anything with it. Never. Okay, so I completely forget what it is that this guy wanted, but let me take a look at this. Dusty! Oh, no! I remember this guy, shit! Oh, I, I left a, a hell of a, a job, I think. Oh, actually, hold on a moment. Oh, no, I think this is a completely different guy. Yeah, yeah. Need to upgrade my PC. Really hoping you can upgrade the CPU. Can you put 16 gigs of RAM in, please? Not much air coming up back. Could be blocked. Total team group fanboy. Sun is always going on about 3D Mark. Okay. So, I'm going to assume that I was smart enough that I went and I got all of the parts necessary to do this. Was I kind? Was I, was I nice enough to myself? Hmm. Now, me and friends were reminiscing about... Uh, Halo for PC and all the mods that we uh, played with back in the day. And we got to talking about what would happen if somebody were to make some mods out of the Master Chief collection. And we we all kind of collectively freaked out about the idea about that. Like, for example, wouldn't it be... Ama like, um, I'm just trying to remember some of the, the old original stuff back in the day. Like the huge ass map, except make it in uh, in Halo 3's engine stuff like that. Okay, Doki. So I just need to remember what exactly I got for this. It's a Intel Pentium G440. Uh, what did I pick up? Because I have a bunch of stuff in here. Is it odd SCP readings help you sleep? Um, a little bit. I, I guess a little bit odd. But then again, you just might like the, uh, you, you, you might like, like a nice story. Like me personally, uh, one thing that I try to do when I go to sleep is I just try to think of some kind of a plot or an idea in my head. Like if, if there's um, some kind of a a video series or some degree of what I... Because I, I do have some ideas for some more, like, in-depth, written, well-scripted types of shows. And I just think about plot lines and stuff. You know, not to be up my own ass about it. But that kind of helps me sleep, just to kind of envision those and get lost in your own, uh, your own ideas. And As long as it's not something that actually, like, freaks you out or makes you too hyped up. Like something relaxing or something that uh, helps you get your mind off of just lying down and trying to go to sleep. Darling! Hello, Shara. Okay. Trying to recall what I decided to get for this guy. Um, well, there's this one. All he asked for was an upgrade, right? So... Two cores. Uh, technically speaking, this is an upgrade. So, yeah, dude, ski. You are speechless. <laughs> Jaluxia is over on Twitch. Darling, darling, you're so rude. Okay, remember to put on the thermal paste because, you know, explosion. I wonder why the other uh, the other cooler is incompatible. I don't get that. Cool. All right, so that's the CPU stuff all done, taken care of. Now we need to work with the RAM. Toothpaste is better. Okay, maybe my brain is not 100% connected in places but I do not have any idea what that is connected to. I apologize. I'm so sunk into this computer project. Okay, so this was his old stuff. Tamp says, like, I can toast bread, or I need to be plugged into a wall. Oh, how do I... How, do I, how, how dare I stream at 3 a.m.? Jesus, I missed this. I missed the entirety of this conversation in this chat. How did I do that? Uh, the one that gets you is toaster that can only be talked about in the first person. 
Oh my god. Some SCPs are silly as all hell. But yeah, that that is definitely a... Uh, that's definitely one of those things that is just like, they... I, I have a hard time trying to explain it. It's like, they take your mind off of stuff and they just allow you to ease and relax a little bit, despite the fact that yeah, it's, it's very much just kind of a, a horror story. Again, I've done something kind of similar to that, where I try to fall asleep to plots or ideas. Hit or miss. I guess I am speechless. <laughs> speechless. Lasse. I don't know about that meme. I really don't. Okay, so that's that's all of it, right? Pretty much. So I upgraded the CPU. I put 16 gigs of RAM in it. I cleaned it. And now the sun wants to use 3D Mark on the damn computer. Why? Oh, it's because it's in the game and they're advertising to hell. Because they get a little money off of, I don't know, commission whenever it's said in-game. No one knows about this meme. It's a secret to everybody. Oh, yeah, right. Now, I'm curious. Oh, wait. Temp says, well, it seems silly uh, until you get into its prologue exposure, which you basically... Wait, um, you basically kill yourself by trying to do stuff and the toaster, uh, a toaster does. Oh, oh shit. I see. Yeah, that would be a nightmare. And I'd like to get a little bit of a poll of the chat. And like, how many people played Halo PC? Like the, the original Halo PC game? Probably not many of you. I'd have to assume. Sadly, no. Okay. Not temp. Toaster does what oven don't. Okay, Shara's played it. That's cool. Well, then the question is, did you play with any of the mods when they were out? Because that was where it was at. Still loading. Mods, lull, no. We're talking about Halo for PC, right? I don't remember it being too hard near the end of uh, Halo for PC. Ooh. Mint is back because their Wi-Fi is back. Neato. Okay. Oh, there we go. It's done. All right, so we fixed this, we fixed this, and we can't really do anything with this until the supply gets back, so I guess we're pretty much done. Bruce Van Cliff! I can't do anything with you. I will collect my money for that. <laughs> Shit, wait a minute. Oh, no, that's right. Yeah, oh my god, I remember this now. I am Mr. Brian Eggleson, solicitor and personal attorney to Prince Stuart, and yeah, I replaced the hard drive because they wanted it replaced. I remember that now. Holy crap. Well, I get absolutely no money for that, and I ended up spending 50 of my own dollars. Oh, well. Okay, need to upgrade my PC. Really hoping you can upgrade. Okay, I, and I did exactly that. Alright. And I got five-star rating for that. That's good. Okay, so discard that. Oh dear. Alternate rep <laughs> I remember this. Oh, I remember this customer. It's amazing. Oh, Tamp says, hey man, you've been trying to download Minecraft mods since you were young and dumb and kept installing viruses. Help. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that's a customer that I get at some point on this. Oh, 
Basically, you're playing the role of the most famous hoaxer in Russia. The computer buster. Anyway, no, I remember this customer. <laughs> Hello, I'm having problems with my computer. As I use it to organize meetings for my local Woodsy Alliance group and to share my thoughts on Roller, it's very important that it be returned to working order. However, as a great believer in natural healing processes and the power of positive energy, I would first like you to conduct an alternate repair session. This requires you to dim the lights in your workshop, light some candles, and fully relax. You don't have to wear clothes if you don't want to. As you relax, focus your thoughts on the computer and channel your energy flow to unmask the repair and, and any damaged components. The following mantra may help guide you. ra pa ma ko pu ta Best wishes, Hazel. And I'm going to get rid of that just because, yeah, that's freaking spam. Uh-oh. It's those idiots. <laughs> yeah, and this is Blake from Film Classics. I've been doing the voicing him as the conductor. It's those idiots over at Movie Maniacs. They're crazy. They'd organize some kind of DDoS on the Film Classics archive. It was like a million people trying to download everything at once. It totally killed my computer. There was smoke and everything. Can you take a look and see what you can do about the damage? Blake Paderberg, cheek uh, uh, archivist and cult film expert. Uh-oh. I need to replace this PSU and CPU. Shoot. Hopefully that's all I need to do. You know what? To be proactive, let's go ahead and take a look at these things and uh, get them. PSU and CPU. Son of a bitch. AMD Ryzen 3 quad-core. Do I happen to have that on me? Because I know I have a lot of CPUs. Uh, I, don't exa I don't have exactly that. Okay. Here, give me a second. So it was a Ryzen 3 quad core 1200. All right, it's that one. So I guess I will replace this. <laughs> it him. Okay, and then the power supply. Shan Power King 400. Shan Power King 400. Okay, grab those. Uh, sure, I will accept, sir. Hopefully there isn't much else that I need to do for you. Conductor after years of playing Train Simulator. <laughs> oh, you really need to stick up to the newer audiences. The future is here, old man. <laughs> Hello, Lassie. Welcome to be playing PC Building Simulator. <laughs> What is this computer goggle goop, uh, gobbly goof? All right, Vince Sheehan. I hear you work with computers. I'm pretty sure I managed to break something. I tried upgrading my CPU, but I think I put it in the wrong way up. How do you do that? And now it won't boot. May oh, actually, no. I could see that happening if you put the pins in wrong. Maybe it's the CPU. It seems a bit dusty inside. My son's always going on about 3D Mark. What is that? What kind of CPU do you have in here? Because I feel like I'm going to have to completely replace that. Intel Core i5-6600K. What do I got? Uh, I don't... I have an i7, but I don't have an i5. Damn it. Okay, Intel Core i... Da -da 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 -da. I think it was this one. Intel Core i5-6600K. Yep, that is correct. I will go ahead and pick one of those up. Sounds fine. <laughs> you totally see that as him. I don't know. I feel like the conductor would be a little bit too old-fashioned to be working with computers. I feel like he'd be more interested in just, like, slamming the computer. I don't know, just hitting it until it eventually works. Okay, and what else is he going to be asking about? Um, Dusty, 3D Mark. Gotcha. Upgrade, please. Hey, I haven't upgraded for a while, so it's about time. I want to make sure my rig is as fast as it can be. Can you get it to benchmark at least that? And I think in order to hit this mark, I need to pay close attention to all of these things. I'm hoping for 8 gigabytes of memory if you can stretch to that. I was on PC Bay the other day and saw some awesome plastic light gray cables. Your PC lives on the floor, so pretty... Oh, God. 
Oh, he's not specifying much about the computer, damn it. Uh, well, what do I currently have in here for memory? I really wish he was being a little bit more clear about what exactly he wanted. Well, you know, I have this DFO motivator 8 gig. It's used, but it works. <laughs> so, yeah, for that, I'm pretty much good. The budget's 165, though. What What do you want? I, mm, I think I'm going to have to just pick this thing up. And hopefully I don't run into too much problem. Okay, here's another one. Oh, Jesus. Motherboard and graphics card. Do you work with computers? I need some repairs. I slipped and fell onto the PC. Yeah. And it made a nasty noise. I know used parts can be cheaper, but I'd like new ones, please. I'm always benchmarking it to see any changes have made it better. So what you want is a new motherboard and graphics card. Oh, actually, I can't even do this because it's uh, requiring five stars. I haven't hit that yet. All right, well, you just sit there. All right, that'll do it for today, I guess. DJ Peckneck is one of the viewers. <laughs> darling, I am lost for words. You're building the PC instead of dancing, darling. This is so despicable. You're such a rude yellow bird. I don't know about that. I feel like it would at least distract him from making movies, and therefore DJ groups could do whatever the heck he wants. I don't quite have five stars. You see that tiny little bit of pixels sitting there? I've made one too many mistakes, I guess. Okay, I'm going to view my cart. Blaze it. All right, so that's all the parts that I'm getting for the computers that are coming in. Getcha. And that'll arrive tomorrow. Pick these 40 pawns and show me your moves in just this. Okay, let's first start off with, uh, yeah, Mr. Words, uh, Wordsy McWords face. Okay, his power supply is the broken one, which is that one. Except fixed and repaired and all clean and good. And hopefully he'll stop complaining to me about all of the horrible things that technology has done to his art and his craft. We can all dream. Okay, there we go. Now I remember Halo mods back in the day were freaking amazing. They were so memey and stupid, and I loved it. That's why I, I, it's why I live, love mods as much as I do nowadays. Well, alright, I'm not, like, super ridiculously into mods, but in certain games, I definitely do see the appeal of it. A lot of the times, I just like the stock experience of a game it's where a game is really really good and i want to keep playing it but the only way to do that is to delve into mods all right that works all right next one uh, this one is the psu and the cpu Oh, shoot. Please tell me I can... I I really hope I can take out this uh, power supply without having to worry about taking off the shell here. I'd really rather not. Let's see if I can pull as many of these things off as I can. And maybe I'll be lucky and they'll be able to just phase it through the case. Where's that one cable going off to? There we go. <laughs> Laziness. Okay, it's the 400. I've got so many broken PSUs, it's insane. Not sure why I have to put these things together. But sure. Yeah, 
Actually, I seem to remember I did a, uh, a school project once on, uh, you know, uh, mods and video games and all that, and I used Halo for PC as the example. I had some relaxed teachers, as long as I wrote about something that they were cool, you know, that I had some kind of excitement for. It was like, all right, cool. That's fine. You can do whatever you want in school. Oh, shoot. There we go. Hat kid donates 40 pawns. You should definitely play Super Corgi Team Adventure Seal the Meal. <laughs> the meal. Explode the Bill Edition. Patch 1.26789555 featuring the detective useless. You don't do it right. You're just stripping out the screws. Okay. Oh, shoot. That's right. I forgot. <laughs> what am I doing completely putting the thing back together? I need to replace the CPU. Da -da 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 -da. Come on. All right, there's a broken one, and here's the fixed one. There. I gotta be smart with this, because Tim would always go and forget to put the thermal paste on. And that lost him a ton of money. Friggin' Tim. Okay, there we go. I, I really genuinely do wonder what the heck would happen if you forgot the thermal paste. I, I feel like your rating would probably, like, steeply fall. Hat Kid donates an additional 60 pawns. I showed you my hat. Now you show me your gamer side. Play it or I will boop you, <laughs> boop on you. Is that like the tame version of swatting? Okie dokie. So this is just requiring the upgrade. This this is the one that I need to actually fix. The upgrade I'm just I'm lost with. I have no freaking clue. Now, I've been looking into computer parts as a, I think I talked about this at one point. I am looking into computer parts just because my CPU is kind of wildly out of date. And that's one of the things that's kind of bottlenecking my uh, performance right now. I got a good graphics card, but the CPU is a little bit shite. Like, it was good for its time, but now, oh my god, it's not. I get lost connection because there is no Wi-Fi in space. That's very true. How did you connect to begin with? broken might as well just sell that she's using the wi-fi at the studio until they find her oh yeah that's <laughs> just tucked away in a corner leaping from like platform to platform. actually no she's not even hiding she's just like jumping around she's athletic she can avoid pretty much everybody metal gear it up Okay, so I think that's everything on, you know, externally. What about in... Well, actually, uh, in terms of chips and all that jazz, I think that'll do it. But now I need to also go and install some programs. Because every person on the planet needs to have 3D Mark. I forgot to turn this on, jeez. Wake up, son. 
Yeah, I should probably double check the uh, emails just to make absolutely sure that it's good and ready to go. Okay, Bruce, I'm just going to send your thing out because you're a happy camper. Oh, dear God. Hey, nephew. Oh, right. I remember this. He's asking for $5,000 to get a whole bunch of shares. Yeah, screw that. Okay. All you wanted was the, yeah, the replacements for the parts, so you should be happy with those. Achievement unlock. Con customers always right. I disagree. 3D Mark is the best. No, it's not. It's just everywhere under the sun. Anyways. Okay, so this one is the one I'm currently working with. And then that other one, which is an enigma. Mafia sees a black box filled with fish-colored spaghetti. Wait, fi fish-colored spaghetti. Took me a moment to actually read that, because I'm like, those things don't connect. Tastes worse than Vanessa's cookies. Mafia is upset since Mafia teeth not feel fish anytime soon. <sighs> so, funny enough, I feel like I could be a little bit more efficient when it comes to this stuff because look at how many used CPUs I currently have sitting in my inventory. I think I could probably repurpose a whole lot of these things. And the RAM, to a certain extent. Uh, how many people can play PC Building Simulator? Sadly, this is just a single-player game. It'd be kind of weird to see this thing in multiplayer. Just seeing everybody's, like, picking and prodding. And putting... See, one thing I was really hoping for one day is some kind of a VR expansion to it. Because how cool would it be if you were able to, like, actually pick up the chips and the pieces and physically put them together? That's something I'm kind of crossing my fingers for with it. That would be really cool. PC building simulator rush mode. <laughs> build it! Build it! Get out the door! The new CPU is working well, and I couldn't be happier. Good. Okay, so this guy wants an upgrade to 8 gigabytes of RAM and a 3D Mark score of 2002. Um, I don't even know. Argh. Jesus, clean your computers, people. Here, I should probably open it to uh, clean it out. What the heck was I even talking about? <laughs> I got very distracted by dirty-ass PC. You know, there's one thing that somebody pointed out, because uh, I've been watching some people. I think it was LGR that talked about this, maybe. It was either LGR or uh, Nostalgia Nerd. I forget which one. But they were talking about this game, um, and they brought up the fact that like there really aren't any old-school PC parts in here. There aren't any old-school PCs to work on. And they thought that it would actually be kind of cool to uh, be working with that. I think it'd be kind of an interesting little experiment. I don't know how many people would be interested in uh, futzing around real with ancient old PC tech. I guess out of curiosity, I'd be interested in it. Look at that. Okay, so... No real idea what we're going to do. It seems like... It, no, correct me if I'm wrong. Let me look at the graphics card. Here. 1050 Ti Gaming. I wonder if that could be improved at all. I am not sure. I'm going to power on and I'm going to take a look. Hello, Slumber Junkie. How's it going? Oh, right. I'm going to need to freaking install stuff. Excuse me. Three D Mark, injected into my veins. Everyone gets a free copy of Three D Mark. 
bloatware for everyone. Now, that's one of the nice things about... Uh, I've said this before, but I recently uh, reconfigured my entire PC. And the reason was because I wanted to cut out a whole bunch of the uh, bloatware and all the stuff that I had installed over the course of many, many years of having this computer running. And this thing is running like a freaking dream now. Like, you don't know how much a fresh install of Windows helps you. Like, seriously, if your computer is running slow, you do not need to go and, like, install a piece of software being like, Oh, yeah, we'll speed up your PC. No. no. Honestly, just, like, back up your stuff and reinstall Windows. Because this thing freaking flies like a dream now, and I love it. That being said, I would love it if I had something more powerful. <laughs> That's the plight of the PC gamer. Unfortunately, it's never enough. You need something more powerful. More cylinders. Yeah, Shara, aren't you like located on a specific portion of the world that it's really, really late right about now? Or like early in the morning? <laughs> By all means, go get some sleep. And thanks for coming out, by the way. Should have mentioned that first. Oh, you know one thing I really want? I want a, uh, a monitor that is 120 hertz refresh. Because I only have 60 hertz refresh. 3.51 a.m. Yeah, get some sleep. <laughs> sleep is good. Sleep is healthy. Good for your bones. Okay, that's the score that we're working with. I think we could do something with that. Uh, let's see, we have a stock motherboard... I'm kind of wondering, may, all right, what's the budget? Because, the, okay, $137 remaining. Oh, Slumber Junkie says, I have two 144 hertz monitors. So worth the money. Oh, God, I would love that. Because right now, I, again, I'm just working with 60 hertz, which does the job when it comes to uh, video editing and playing video games. But I would love it if I had something a little bit uh, cleaner, clearer, faster. Oh, funny stuff is here. Had to get your eyes checked. Ooh. Speaking of which, I've actually looked into... Because uh, I, I have recently gotten my eyes checked. I'm considering going off and picking up some uh, special sunglasses with my prescription in them. Because I have never owned sunglasses with the, my prescription in them. And God, that'd be nice. I just kind of tough it out. It, you know, instead of actually going off and... Uh, doing the responsible thing. But the question is, what do I want to do with them? And how much money do I want to spend on it? Okay, so out of curiosity, what do we have for... Ooh. See, now this looks like it could be improved. I don't know much about this, but this looks like it could be improved. You might get glasses soon, but you didn't find any frames you really like. Yeah, that's a struggle. I've been there. I vary. Just every single time I go, I try and get a new uh, frame for like, a new set of uh, lenses and frames and all that stuff. Because I'm like, why not? Oh, shit. That's actually pretty good. Um, the only thing that could possibly... Oh, shit. Actually, this. This does it good. Hmm. I'm curious. Is this even in the budget? <laughs> nope. Nope, it's not. Okay, never mind. I just got to remember that this uh, Celeron is what they originally had. All right. Uh, what's the next step up? I guess it would be this. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's good. Neato. No, I've learned my lesson before. Apparently, if you go and um, if you go and put too much crap in their computers, they get angry at you because then they're suddenly stuck with a bill that they have to uh, pay for. You know, they have to pay for the parts uh, and oopsie daisies. Oh wow, Slumber Junkie left quite a message. That's good because I need to run this anyways. 
while there isn't really any reason for them to do old PC parts, since they have virtually no mainstream appeal these days, it would be cool that they'd let you build a uh, 486 PC or something with a Voodoo 3. It'd be like a piece of history, plus people will get to see what PC enthusiasts had to work with back in the day. I kind of agree. I See, I don't know if this would really fit the bill for a uh, for the current setup for PC Building Simulator, but it'd be kind of cool if there was an option. <laughs> you hear your friend starting Vanessa's Manor. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of a tonal shift. Oh boy, I'm actually sort of wondering whether or not a graphics card would be a little bit more beneficial. Because this is crawling. It's cool. It's one level. It'll be fine. Celeron with a 1080? That sounds like it would bottleneck hardcore. Maybe. I don't know. Well, this is a 1050. I don't know. They probably want some kind of a combination of two decent things. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm not too versed when it comes to the technologies involved with them. I just know... I know... Oh, hello! Hey! It work! Sweet! Alright, well, there wasn't anything else weird going on with this, right? I also like the fact that I was able to do all this stuff with parts that I already had available. All right, let's see. Need some repairs. Slipped in. Oh, wait. Is this the proper one? No, no, no. The upgrades. There we go. Hoping for eight gigs of memory. Done that with old RAM. PC bay. Oh, right. Awesome plastic light gray cables. And I already cleaned out the dust. All right, all right. We already have some pretty cool green cables. Why do you need the light gray ones? I don't know. Okay, now... Let me ask. I really don't know how this cable mechanic works in this game. Clearly, I don't. I'm hyper confused about it. I'm just going to, like, disconnect everything. I have no clue. Jesus. So much screaming in the chat. that get rid of that just plug in ed i'm unplugging everything despite the fact that it really isn't going to matter for most of these connections anyway so light gray did i say let me see here let me just make absolutely sure plastic light gray okay uh, is it going to matter what kind we're talking about? Like, sleeved or loose? I don't even know. Or Slumber Junkie says, I really need to dust out my PC, but that would mean I have to turn it off. I don't want to turn it off. I've been there. Actually, I think I talked about this on a previous stream. Um, I did... Actually, no, 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 it wasn't even in a stream. Uh, I was talking about computer-related stuff uh, over on the Discord. Um, and I was discussing, I really, I had a really old computer uh, way back in the day. And this was back in the days when computers, um, like when you had like three gigs of data inside a computer, that was known as a lot. You know, that's how old it was. And I ended up burning that computer out because I left it running for a very long extended period of time. Whoopsies. Yeah, that, that's not good for a computer. <laughs> So I'm starting, I, I'm trying to be a lot better at that nowadays. Now I'm, I'm trying to actually shut my computer off or put it in sleep mode. All the things that are good for a computer. I mean, not only that, but it saves electricity too. Like You don't need to have your computer on at a constant click all the time. As much as it would be nice. Oh, do I seriously need to do another 3D Mark score because I changed out the cables? You silly bastards. It's gonna be the same freaking thing. I didn't change any of the hardware. Fine, whatever. Yay. You do you, game. I'm just gonna sit it here, twiddle my thumbs. Hmm. 
Yeah. I'm testing a little bit of the lag going on here. Oh, wow. YouTube has got a crap load of um, delay between me and the stream. Mixer is the, uh, the lag king. But Twitch is not too far off. What is 3D Mark? Uh, 3D Mark is a benchmarking software that allows you to uh, test how much your computer can handle uh, graphics wise. And they give you a score about what your computer can do. And it also gives you some specifics about, you know, what certain games you could run, which ones you can't. It, But clearly this is some kind of an advertising thing here for PC on PC building simulator. Like to be fair, a whole lot of the things in PC building simulator, you could consider them to be advertising. Cause you know, there's actual G force types of cards and legit, uh, products that you can buy actually out there on the market today. So, you know, to be fair, a whole, th the whole lot of it is one big advertisement pretty much. But this one's really egregious because uh, for God's sakes, you don't have to have 3D Mark, but everyone asks for it. Just like, shut up. All right. Well, I feel accomplished. Four star. Ah! I saw they ran the benchmark with a score of 2002, and it's cleaner than the day I bought it. Why is it only four stars? What did I do? Son of a bitch. What, did you want a more powerful PC than that? Come on. I did what you wanted. Uh, maybe there was some other hidden thing that I didn't think about. Let me take a look at this. Is it because the score wasn't exactly... No, no, it's asking for at least 202. So I could have gone higher. Is it, oh, maybe it's because I used uh, used products. You know, because that was a used stick of RAM. It doesn't specify anything about that, though. I don't... Whatever, man. Whatever. I can't do anything with this because I'm not at... I'm technically not at level 5 yet. Probably ended up destroying myself by, uh, you know... That one... Oh! What the fuck? <laughs> Uh, how do I send an email? Google, how do I send an email? Please, Google, how do I send an email? Why isn't this working? Help. Email help for seniors. Computer classes. Send from easy mail version 4.1. <laughs> oh, you poor bastard. I like that. Just random old spam. I appreciate it. I, actually, I kind of wish there was another inbox, except it was nothing but stupid spam that Tim ended up getting over years and years of accidentally using the wrong services. I'd love that. Anywho. Oh no, this guy. <laughs> Hello again. We received the previous hardware with great satisfaction, and your final reward with $4,000 is being prepared for dispatch. Unfortunately, we were unable to fully recover the necessary uh, D and require further assistance before financial assets are confiscated. Please build a system of the following specifications to the authority can approve final release of my client, Prince Duarte. Hardware must reach benchmark of 3000 for fully verify your earliest response will be appreciated. That sounds reputable, doesn't it? <clears throat> That's not the conductor. That is not the conductor. No, I'm sorry. The conductor doesn't use broken English. That is a tech support scam, and I will hear nothing more. So, <sighs> what these guys want me to do, without actually promising me the um, the money, they're asking me to build a PC for them. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, right. I'm gonna have to think about that one. Oh God, <laughs> hello. Just writing to say that the alternate repair session had no effect. It's more likely that you conducted the healing ritual incorrectly. But that's okay. You are a novice after all. Instead, I'll send my computer into your workshop so you can work on it by hand. On the condition that you conduct the appropriate rituals to ensure that any physical changes don't affect the positive energy on the machine as a whole. The ritual can be conducted as before, but with the following additions to hopefully make it more effective for a beginner, such as yourself. Healing crystals should be arranged around the machine to create an energy grid. You should really help in manifesting your goals and intentions. If you don't have a crystal merchant nearby, 
You may have to get creative. Wristwatches and many electronic components contain crystals, so these will do in a pinch. An additional mantra to be used. Madam PC won't go, but take care, as this is a mantra of great power. Be particularly wary of the final syllable. Pronounced incorrectly, this is a cure for baldness. <laughs> However, many candles you set up last time, double it. You can never have too many candles. Do have a fire extinguisher on standby, though. We don't want a repeat of the Fellwood incident. Be best witches, Hazel. <laughs> Madam PC wouldn't go. Oh, silly, silly. Anyway, objectives, diagnose, and fix. <laughs> sure. I have no clue what the problem could even be, so let's just go ahead and deal with it as we get it. Hi, I hate using my computer at the moment. I want to make sure my rig is as fast as it can be. Can you get it to benchmark that? Why? Why do you people want these benchmarks? I've got to have it by this day in eight days, too. I think I clicked on something bad. All right, clearly you have a virus. Uh, do you like cable modding? I saw some great plastic white ones uh, the other day. Do I even have white ones? No idea. Oh, well. I, I'll, I'll see if this works out. Oh, wait. Not him, the spam email. That's Oh, that's what you were saying. Okay. No, I, I still don't think that would be the conductor. I, yeah, I feel especially since it said seniors. I feel like the conductor is more in his 40s. Okay, so we got some new PC parts available. Let's ditch that. Ditch that. Ditch that. All right. Is there anything I can do, like, prevent it? I, I suppose the only thing I can do... Uh, I don't even want to work on this at this moment. I kind of want to get a case and then call it. Yeah, I kind of want to be cheap with this guy and just make him a really crap-ass PC. Well, it's got to hit 3,000, so it can't be too crap-ass. How about this? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick up the case, and then I'm going to work with pieces that I already have used. And I'll try it. I can't even work within the budget because he didn't give me a goddamn budget. This asshat. All right. What's the cheapest case I can possibly get? Um... Silverstone, black plus window. Uh, yeah, but just get that. I don't. Know. It's hilarious that so many people in their forties don't do PCs. Meanwhile, the guy who taught me uh, A plus in high school is old enough to be their dad. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it has anything to do with age. It's a matter of do you want to work your head around this technology? No. Oh, too bad. Because, you know, technology is going to blow past you. Okay, so I can't do anything with you because I don't have a high enough level, for God's sakes. No idea what your problem is. And you want a 3D Mark score of this. And let me, actually, let me see if there's any context clues in this. Yeah, there's no context clues with it. I, I literally have to wait until all these computers get here. Son of a gun. All right, fine. So, yeah, the only thing I seem to be able to do is just to get the PC's outer parts. And then, maybe, crossing your fingers, maybe I'll be able to build this thing on the day that I get the, uh, the PC tower. So. Yep, guess we're done. Good night, workshop. All right, well, where do I want to start? This is a little bit of a nightmare. Um, you know, I feel like, actually, I, I want to start with building the PC, because I haven't really, like, built a PC from scratch much yet. Oh, I don't know. Oh, it just occurred to me I don't have a hard drive. Should have done that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah. This asshat. Oh, did I agree to, um... I don't know if I actually agreed to that email. Running a shop out of my home. I, I guess. I think this is just an office somewhere. I believe. I mean, why would I leave the office afterwards? Oh, 
Oh, right, I didn't actually agree to this. Whoopsies. Okie dokie. Oh, and I also... Oh, I don't have a motherboard. Damn. Or I don't think I do. I really should have checked that. Oopsies. Yeah, I don't have a motherboard. Okay, I, I guess I can't work with this right now. All right. I guess I'll, I'll throw that onto my uh, list of things to get. How about... I, I think I have a lot of Intel chips. I'm going to go ahead and get myself a motherboard that works on Intel for the most part. Uh, what would be the best option for me? Um, what's the difference between this one and this one? Max RAM speed, three... Th uh, I'm not going to need that fast of RAM, frankly. Right, I'm just going to slap that in there. Why not? Ooh. Is that one of my first actual, like, fancy motherboards that I can pick up? Neato. All right, before I forget, let's let's take a look at my parts and see what I could possibly do with that. Now, I still have this one cooler that's just been kicking around here for a while. I have plenty of CPUs. Uh, I have so much memory, I don't know what to do with it. Graphics cards, I think I'm swimming in them. I have some storage. I do not have a power supply, so let's get a power supply, too. Let's say a decent... Uh, yeah, a decent size one. You know, why not? Peck all mode. And then that will pretty much do it, I think. All right. I'll work on you tomorrow. All right. So this one is just diagnose it and fix it. That, that seems easy enough. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And it's filthy. See, this is an easy one to do just because visually I I know it needs to be done. I need to blow this thing out and get it all clean. Hmm. This is reminding me. I recently picked up a used USB um, N64 style controller. And that thing was actually really grody and disgusting. So I had to take a really long period of time just sitting there scrubbing the thing until eventually all the... The orange and creepy stuff started coming out of it. Okay, so. This lady wants me to do some kind of, uh, you know, new age healing for a computer. I, it's not going to work. Let's figure out what this thing actually has a problem with. All right, power's on. No CPU found. Okay. So to me, that means that the CPU is fried and dead. Also, out of curiosity. <laughs> this is broken. I see. So that would explain why the CPU died. So there we go. Grooves, I don't know how to work the computer and Google ain't telling me how to work it. Darling, that's an email. All right, don't need to get anything super amazing. I feel like uh, the more Tony will do the job just fine. But now the question is, okay, so this is a Celeron, but do I have a, a Celeron that will work with it? Celeron 3900. Um. Hey! <laughs> How about that? Now, I can't do anything with it now because I don't have the cooler available. Okay. So, I guess I'll set this aside again, too. Now, this guy just straight up confuses me. Because what it wants... Okay, a score of 5233. Um, and that's it. Oh, question... Good all. Where are you? There you are. <sighs> Gotta have it by this day. Think I clicked on something bad. Cables. Great plastic white ones. Do I even have plastic white? Don't have a clue. I'll go ahead and disconnect everything just to 
do that. I wonder, as you buy more cables, I wonder if um, the customers start to get a little bit more ornery about, you know, the, the kinds of cables they want. Okay, I think that's all of the, uh, the main interesting ones. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, plastic plain white. Oh, shit. Did I give that guy white cables before? Shoot. All right. Oh, well. Can't win them all. I don't know, everybody's got all these fancy schmancy red cables and all these like cool things. And they all want to just turn around and be like, nah, 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 I want boring stuff now. Is the back of this thing entirely clean? The back there doesn't look all that clean. Ah, well, whatever. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm looking at that, uh, that graphics card. Isn't that like an MSI Gold? I think that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Jesus. So my guess is that this thing probably needs to have the CPU replaced. First and foremost. That <laughs> world of... God, I really wish you could, like, test drive these just to see if they work. Again, they're asking for a performance boost, but they already got some pretty good performance. Okay, just install some Norton antivirus and basically add a virus to their computer. You know, I'm curious. It's been a very long time since I've had a Vast. Um, I left them because they started doing some really weird shady stuff when their company was bought out. I wonder if they are any better or worse since the last time I saw them. You think this game got a sponsorship from 3D Mark and that's why they talk about it all the time? Yes. It's not even subtle. That's pretty much exactly why I think that is. I mean, if it brings the game to, um, you know, to my hands and it allows me to play it, I don't have too much of a problem. But it is galling. It's really obvious what's happening. All right, that's just going to sit and churn for a while. At some point, I'm going to have to spend some of that money on some tables. But no. Um, not too long ago, AVG bought out Avast. And ever since then, they started adding some more... AVG style advertising and marketing into their pro uh, their product. I want 10 workbenches, but three will do. D do you want just a gigantic Thanksgiving table of nothing but workbenches? But that's the reason why I stopped using a vast. Like it was working really, really well for the longest time. And eventually I'm like, yeah, it, it started doing this thing where it was uh, it was allowing me to use, like, certain services inside the software, but it would stop me at the last minute. Like, right as it says, oh, yeah, we can totally make this a lot more efficient on your computer. And all you have to do is buy this extension of our product that we didn't tell you was an extension of the product. And yet it totally is. I, I kind of, like, put up a an eyebrow there. I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, all right, hmm. Okay, that score is actually not very good. Um, what was the budget for this again? $740. So, pretty dang good. Uh, Slumber Junkies switched back to Microsoft Security Essentials and Malwarebytes after they uh, turned Avast into Nagware. Yeah. I, well, I was getting sick of it. Um, I decided to switch over to using ESET. And ESET has been doing pretty good for me up to this point. Um, they're starting to do some things that are getting a little weird. You, you know, like, it, it, 
the tiny little pieces of the program that... Uh, my, see, my rule is I have no problem with you advertising that you have a piece of software that is... Uh, yeah, you're trying to sell your wares and all that. But when it gets to the point where you tell it, no, thank you, I don't want to use this software, I am not interested, and for them to continue to spam you with the exact same advertisements for the same damn thing. That's when I put my hands down and I said, okay, all right, enough is enough. Come on. I've had enough. And not only that, but I am pretty sure that uh, on my laptop a while ago... Now, I don't have 100% um, clarification on this, but I'm pretty sure that I had some kind of malware get infected on my computer that was uh, mirroring the look of a vast... And it was attempting to try and get me to put in my credit card information and details into this really legit looking a vast window. And I'm like, okay, that probably doesn't have anything to do with the actual Advast, but that's kind of seedy and creepy. It especially creeped me out that apparently a vast was not smart enough to be like, hey, what's this computer software on here? No, it's not us. Get this shit out. You know, I don't need them to be all sentient and all powerful or whatnot, but I, uh, that just seems like a major oversight. Uh, I don't really see anything that's super overly powerful here. Um, yeah, not really. Like, I see the Zota. Oh, you know, type okay, here's an idea. Um, what kind of motherboard? Oh, this is just a basic motherboard shit. Hmm. Because the first thing that kind of popped into my head... Let, let's see... Let me see if I uh, actually have the budget to do this. Um, motherboard. I'm just going to add it to the cart. And then... Derp. I'm going to go over to... Oh, I probably should have taken a look at what that motherboard's capable of, too. Sorry. Okay, it's this one. Interesting. Okay. Not bad. Um, so... Let me go back to the motherboards again. Crossfire. That's not SLI. Shoot. Okay, alright, that idea is out the window. <laughs> Because I thought maybe if I could replace the motherboard and also pick up a new graphics card and then just partner them up, maybe I could uh, ramp that score up significantly. No, I don't think that's going to work. Crossfire is uh, specifically AMD technology, right? If I remember that properly. Okay. Instead, I guess I need to just install a different graphics card. All right. Well, then... Let's just try the more powerful one that I currently have in my inventory. There we go. I'm just glad I can, like, pinpoint these issues. <laughs> Slumber Junkie. Okay. This stream kind of got me thinking to look at used parts on eBay to upgrade my PC. And I noticed a lot of sellers place limits on what you can buy to ward off miners. Oh, definitely. It, it's so obnoxious just how expensive graphics cards have gotten thanks to the fact that crypto miners have gone out there and they're just like scooping up all of these things in an effort to try and make all of the money on Bitcoin. It, it's stuff like that that I'm really, really glad I went and picked up the 1080 graphics card that I did uh, when I did because right around the time 1080 came out, like just shortly after that, suddenly the um, you know the Bitcoin boom happened, and then everybody was picking up graphics cards left and right. So I'm happy I got this thing. And it just scares me that like whenever new pieces of technology comes out, there's a very good chance that this stuff is going to fall off the shelves immediately as it's uh, you know released and is available. You know I would love to upgrade in certain respects, but I really can't. 
like I said previously, I would love to have one of the um, uh, the two like that two eighty or two like twenty eighty ones, if I'm remembering like or or twenty forty is that what it's called? The twenty line series of cards is what I mean. I feel like that'd be cool, especially since unfortunately I bottlenecked myself when it comes to this card here, which I never expected I was gonna do. Like, way back in the day, it was liberating to finally get this card, because I was sitting on a really old card a long time ago. And so to have this much power, I was like, I don't know what to do! And now, cut to uh, a couple of years later, I have three monitors, a VR setup, and I'm processing the uh, this stream using uh, NVIDIA encoding, so it's like... Oh, Jesus. Okay, that went down. Noted. So this isn't going to work. It do it definitely looks like I'm going to have to uh, do something with the graphics card. But first, uh, let me take a look at what we have CPU-wise, because maybe I can do something with that. Ooh. Oh, hold on a moment. This is a Core i5. I could make some headway on this. Here. Core i5. This is broken. Get out of here. Mm, yeah. All right. I'm curious what the uh, score would be if I plugged everything in now. Slumber Junkie says, My PC is a lot older, but you get good frames on newer games. Uh, the R9-290X just won't quit on you. Well, that's good. One thing I've been curious about doing, uh, one of these days I'm going to build an AMD computer just for for kicks. If I ever have the uh, expendable income, I, I feel like I would want to do that. Because I've been strictly Intel and uh, GeForce, uh, well, that kind of thing. And I'd like to see what it would be like to build an AMD rig. I... I've heard some issues when it comes to AMD, but overall, I think I think if you put it together properly and if you run it properly, you shouldn't run into any problems or not not as many. I've also considered just having a Linux computer set up just standard somewhere. Okay, so after I put that new CPU in, my new budget is $490. Okay. So I could potentially go and pick up a, uh, a graphics card that has that price point. Or I could just rip the CPU directly out if it doesn't make a difference, which maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I'll say, I know it's trying to simulate running a PC and all that, but after a while, you, you see this little, tr you know, this little test over and over and over again. It's just like, yeah, we get it. It's scanning. It's testing the PC. And then, of course, we've got all the advertising on the walls that's just sort of hidden as, oh, yeah, they're posters. Oh, I swear. No, I'm not cynical. I swear. I, I do have plenty of posters, and I've really considered getting some boxed frames for them. And they're nice. They're like movie posters and stuff that I've collected over the years. And I would love to like just have them in a nice little box. <sighs> it really doesn't matter. Shoot. Okay. I think what's really going to push this is a GPU more than anything else. So, okay, let's go to the shop. Okay, this is all just stuff for other projects. Correct. Yes. So. Well, plenty of these things are plenty cheap. That's another thing. Let's sort it by price. Price. 
Well, this is the most freaking expensive thing you could possibly get. Uh, if I could... Uh, just, here's the thing. If I had a motherboard that was capable of doing uh, multi-GPU for SLI, I totally would do that, but I don't, so that sucks. Uh, let's see. Which one of these things do crossfire? Do I even have a uh, cross... Yeah, here we go. There's something that has crossfire. AMD is basically the bank for your buck brand. Ryzen CPUs are good for multitasking, and their GPUs are pretty inexpensive for the price. You're thinking of doing uh, an all AMD build with a Ryzen and RX 580 when you do a full upgrade. Neat. Oh boy, he's doing train rush now. God rest his soul. I'd be curious about doing that. Although, again, I've heard some kind of issues involved with uh, hardware failure. That's kind of what you get for the, um, you know, for the bang for your buck kind of thing, is that every once in a while you lose the silicone lottery and you end up getting a, a piece of equipment that isn't quite as good. Let's see. So this thing isn't that powerful. Not really. Yeah, actually. This thing for 350 bucks is uh, significantly better than this. Pretty much. Um, it's got six gigs of VRAM. That's the same thing for this. Okay, so that wouldn't change. It, pretty much just the core and memory frequency is the exact same thing, except... Uh, so, what? okay, what I'm thinking... Oh, it won't freaking matter. I don't think the CPU really changed much at all. Unless it's really being... Um, if it's being bottlenecked as much as it might be. I don't know. Oh, dear. Train rush is stressful. You know, it's really stressful doing that in first person. I did that on stream once. Ooh. A 1060 Founders Edition. I have a 1080 Founders Edition. So we, we haven't gotten up to my technology just yet. How much is that, by the way? Ooh. Ah, no, not quite. Yep, yeah, th this still beats it out. Oh, shoot. I, I hate to... Um, I hate to put all this stuff off because, like, I've got a whole bunch of PCs. I just can't do anything with them. Sucks. All right, well, I need to make a decision here. What kind of CPUs do I want to fit inside this computer? Because this was what was originally in there. This is uh, the different one. But both of them seem to do the same thing processing-wise. Unless, unless, like, incrementally it might make a difference, I'm going to swap back the old one. Splap. And now, unfortunately, I can't really do much with this thing now. So I need to put it down. Shoot. So wait a minute. Incomplete. 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 <laughs> Damn. This was an uneventful freaking day. It was just diagnosis the day. What time is it right now? Oh, wow. It's 8.30. Jesus. Whenever I play PC Building Simulator, it just feels like time flies by. Okay, dokie. There's the new graphics card. There's the uh, new CPU cooling. I had a CPU already to replace it, so that's fine. New power supply. Uh, oh, yeah. that. Okay, that's for that building PC. And this thing is also the motherboard for that other PC. And funny enough, I, I can't even do anything with that right now. Well, I, I don't really know if I have enough pieces to hit a 3,000 uh, point score, but I probably do. You keep forgetting that I live in Central Time. Oh. That's cool, that's cool. Okie dokie. Um, yeah. I'll wait for next day. Because I do not want to spend the shipping on all of that nonsense. All right. Oh, Jesus. Did I just hear my email go completely nuts? <laughs> oh, I forgot to turn off the PC. That's going to be great for my electricity bill. Oh, no. The dream is over. <laughs> 
Hey, Blake here. Just letting you know that the Film Classics Archive is dead. Not because of you. I'm super grateful that you came through with those repairs. But I actually got hit with a legal takedown request. <laughs> That's what you do when you host a whole bunch of, you know, still within circulation movies. Turns out hosting a few hundred cult movies for free download is illegal. I mean, it's not like you can buy the DVDs or anything. These companies don't even care about the movies. They just want to bully these little guys. It's a scandal. But I'm not going to take this lion down. I'm going to fight them every step of the way. Watch this space. Blake Paderberg, former chief activist and cult film expert. Film Classics Archive. Action. Oh, well. Let's see. Okay. Well, I got all the uh, the PC parts, so time to begin. Let's start with... Let's start... Actually, here. Since we were working on this before, let's start with this. Right. The only thing I could see improving this was a replacement of the graphics card. And funny enough, this is actually a really good graphics card, so... I mean, uh, it'll, it'll be nice to use this in another rig, I suppose. Ooh, very efficient power, I'll say that too. That's another thing that I noticed. Um, again, the card that I used to have, I don't even remember what it was. I think it was like a 560. And then I made the jump up to 1080. And that was completely insane. I wonder if RAM would have anything to do with it. Because, um, well, wait, what, what kind of RAM is that anyway? Ooh, four terabytes. I... I've, Maybe I could do something with that. Oh, well. Let's not get uh, too ahead of ourselves here. Okay, cross your fingers. Let's hope this does me some good. And again, that CPU could use a little work. I believe I could potentially put that other CPU in with that with three hundred ninety dollars that are remaining. Maybe I don't know. Cross your fingers. We'll see what happens. Okay, this should be the uh, CPU running right now. All things considered, this is a fairly smooth transition here. Because I think how it's split up is one of the scenes is CPU-driven. Uh, the second one, this one, is GPU-driven. And then the third scene is a combination of both of the two. And Conductor won the award. Uh-oh. Well, funny enough, the first time that I ever played Hat in Time, um, Conductor did not win the award. It was uh, DJ Grooves who did. Which is funny, because I definitely don't see DJ... I, mean, I see both of them being jerks, but I see the Conductor more as the uh, bloodthirsty murderer. Okay. Oh my god, really? Hmm. you want from a game uh again all i can think is that cpu might be the driving force behind this old scottish men are intimidating it's natural to feel that way <laughs> $140. Okay, so I could potentially upgrade the RAM if I felt that would make a difference. Um, what do I have currently for RAM backup? Because I, you know, maybe it will. Let's see. This will actually change things up a little bit. It's 8 gigabytes instead of 4, and I think it's actually got a faster megahertz speed. Hmm. I could go for that. Let's let's do that. Oh wait, this is broken. Never mind. Jesus, what am I doing? Get out of here. 
Boy, the tumblers. They're rolling, but nothing's in there. Okay, uh, I don't think capacity's gonna help out much with that. Shoot. These are basically the exact same thing. Hmm. Well, this one, it's it's a faster speed, and it's the exact same amount of RAM. Might do something, might not, I don't know. Ah, uh, this chunky thing. Hold on. This will probably do Bubkus. But. I'm curious to see what will happen. The worst case scenario, the absolute worst case scenario, um, picking up a motherboard with uh, Crossfire technology or SLI tech. Oh, actually, no. Uh, picking up the motherboard with Crossfire technology and getting two graphics cards that are powerful enough that they would SLI together. And maybe, maybe it'll be underneath our budget. Hooray, it posted. What posted? Oh, what else we got going on on this computer? Meh. We're trying to work through what we currently have going on right now. Uh, the natural repair section. The PC, it works. Well, work is one thing. Has proper score is another. Five, two, three, three. Yeah, I'm out. Like, right. just everything just seems way too sluggish to uh, hit that number. Oh my god! Oh, it's so close! Damn it! Hmm. Okay. Shoot. Uh, dual channel RAM. Maybe, 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 maybe. I, it does. I don't think dual channel RAM would hit that. Damn it. My D button is sticking, and I don't know why. Gotta think. Gotta think. Gotta think. Gotta think. Gotta think. Because the only thing I could think was getting myself one of these. And picking up some GPUs that have Crossfire technology. All of it would have to be underneath 720 bucks worth of cash. Hmm. This probably wouldn't work out. Right? I don't think it'll work. Eight gigabytes of VRAM. Sixteen. Hmm. I'm looking at a whole lot of these options, and some of them are not bad. Why are these things the exact same price? What the hell? One of them is like clearly superior. Hmm. That is a whole lot of emotes. Ooh, wow. That's a lot of folks. How you guys doing? I see. It's a raid. Well, hello. I'm building computers, and I am freaking out in an attempt. <sighs> I don't know how interesting it is for anybody else, but I am very much interested in a whole lot of this stuff. So, just be chill, be cool, and enjoy. I don't know, question mark. Let's see. It is very much interesting. <laughs> I don't know. I get stuck in my own head being like, man, I like tech and all that jazz, but is anybody else? I'd have no clue. 
Okay, let me actually, um, I'm gonna pick up two of these and then I'm gonna go grab the motherboard and I'm gonna take a look at what we, oh, Jesus. It's 780. Uh, the budget that we're currently working on for this is 740. Nope, that didn't work. Never mind. Because we're currently trying to get the computer up to a specific, a, a very, very specific amount. And I have no idea how you would make it work. You've always been curious about PC building, the uh, Hangout Hut. It's some interesting stuff. I have built my own PCs several times, uh, as well as I know some friends that have built PCs as well. And it's really, like, it's cool to get into the inner workings of how PCs work. And uh, it also saves you a little bit of cash as along with it. VR? I could technically do VR. If you're asking if this game does VR, I really wish it did. I would love to be able to just take a, like, a graphics card and toss it at a computer. Uh, so yeah, the only thing I could possibly think would even do anything at this stage, because the CPU is great, the GPU is great, the only thing possibly... Well, what's our budget? 122. An upgrade on RAM, that's it. That's about it. So what kind of RAM... Okay, that was a T-Force, am I correct? Or not? Yeah, Team Group, T-Force, Dark, Red, 4 Gigabyte, 266. I think I'm going to go ahead and just grab one of those things. I don't think that board is capable of even holding uh, RAM that does 3,000 megahertz, so I'm just going to skip that and I'm going to move on. Where are you? Ah, uh, you got to go. Hey, thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it a lot. Where are you? Where are you? Okay, this is 8 gigs. I'm looking for the 4 gigs. I've learned that this game is very, very picky about this kind of stuff. As they should, because sometimes when you're picking up parts for computers, they do not work and they don't function together. So I think quite literally I can't do anything with this PC at this point. So, oh well. Let me take a look at these. <laughs> the entire uh, raid was your idea, Mint? Well, thank you very much for the raid. I appreciate it a lot. Oh, Jesus, wait a minute. Yeah, this is Hazel Leaf. Again, this is the uh, the spiritual medium maiden what's-it. Ooh, Pokemon uh, Plushies Trainer is hosting me. Thank you. Okay, so we need to diagnose and fix this, I believe. Oh, yeah, I, I did diagnose and fix this. It was the CPU. But the problem was I didn't have a cooler to replace it. But I went and I picked one of those things up, and we should be fine. In theory. Okay. Now we just gotta connect it and make sure it boots. Luckily, this is a special case. Uh, for some cases, they want you to also run antivirus and crap, but I don't think we're gonna have to do that here. Knock it knock. Okay, it functions. Goody, got that one off. Now, you. Oh, no, actually, you're the exact same. There, no, you. Okay, this is the, um, yeah. <laughs> the Indian call server that is requesting that I just build them a computer because why not? And I guess that's what I'm going to be doing. And it's got to hit about 3,000 score. And you know what? I got plenty of parts at my disposal, so I think I can make this work. Maybe. So we're building from scratch, people. I got plenty of used parts that I've just been pulling off of people's computers and hoarding like a, a big old pile of gems. Okay. Well, you're broken. Get out of here. Why are you incompatible? Wait a minute. Why is this... Is the case not big enough? Son of a bitch. Well, great. Now I need to wait even longer. Okay, fine. Um... <sighs> I don't want to pour too much freaking money into these jerks. Fine, I'm gonna. I'll pick up that. Why not? All right, I will work on that later. For now, let's pick a CPU. Um, I'm gonna go with this Core i5. It's at least got a function well, right? Pour a little bit of RAM inside it. The problem is I can't really run this until I actually have a CPU cooler. Oh, man. 
My efficiency is crap right now. It sucks. Hmm. Uh, let, let's go with like the absolute minimum here. I'm just going to give him four gigs of just standard old RAM, and we're going to call it a day. Uh, graphics card is going to be a little bit more important. I don't believe this thing gets you too high up on that totem. <laughs> There's this graphics card that I pulled out of a different computer just now. Honestly, yeah, I don't feel confident in, in doing much with this computer until I know that uh, that guy over there is out. So, I, I gotta wait another day. I, I guess... Oh, man. Do I have any bills coming up? No, I don't. At least no, no major ones, so I'll, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Okay, all right. I guess... I, wait a minute. Three to five working! Oh, damn it! What did I do? Shit! I didn't take a look at the actual shit. Uh, that happens every once in a while, where it'll, like, just change up the, uh, the shipping window for no goddamn reason. Great. You know what? That that order was cheap enough. I think I'm going to go ahead and just buy those things again. Cause, no, I need those things now. Uh, da, 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 da. Which one did I pick up? I'm just going to grab that. Uh, what else did I pick up? Shit, I'm trying to... Mm. I think it was one of these sticks of RAM. Except it was a 4 gig. There we go, this one. And then, what else did I pick up? What else? Didn't do anything with cases or fans or anything. What else? Shoot. My memory is failing me right now. I apologize in, in advance right now. Can I check the, um... Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, I can look at all these. Okay. Delivery of the RAM stick and... Cool. That's all it is. Okay, cool. And this is a cheap enough order. I feel like I'm totally cool with just grabbing it right now. Next day. Son of a bitch. Thank you. Here. Oh, I forgot to turn off my pee. <laughs> oh, everything is falling apart. That's fine. It's cool. We good. Now, again, we got ourselves the Enigma computer here. Now, like I said, I don't think this is actually going to improve this thing whatsoever. Please. Please work. Okie dokie. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else in tech news that I've recently seen that would be interesting to talk about. I don't really know. It's been pretty slow. There haven't been any really good types of like tech shows or anything as of late. Hmm. I know E3 is not too far from now. That'll be interesting. I've heard that a whole lot of people are, like, they're foregoing going to actually e do anything at E3. Um, honestly, I kind of, I'm kind of okay with that. Considering, I mean, if you don't have anything to show or if you don't have anything interesting to hype up when you're at E3, why even bother? You know, it's kind of a waste of money and a waste of your time, and it's money that you probably should be putting towards your actual products as opposed to uh, trying to be all flary and flashy and you could save a lot of money just by doing your own little press conference or you know setting your up your own thing it's the internet age everybody can connect to your live streams and just watch you and see what it is that you want to do you know it's like we plan to release this thing next day next year I know Nintendo has been out of the loop when it comes to the E3 stuff for a while. All they do is this their uh, their Splatfest stuff, and that's about it. 
Yeah, I see nothing. See, I could see... I could potentially see maybe a faster stick of RAM doing something with that, but uh, no. Mmm, that sucks. Uh... What do you want from me, computer? I... I... Mm. End of the day, in five days, I don't think I can do this, because I... I don't even think I have the, uh, the technology available to be able to even upgrade this thing. The, like, the last thing that I could possibly think of doing at this stage is... I could pick up maybe a new motherboard that might help things out, and perhaps I can overclock a few things, but I don't think I have the technology quite yet to be able to do anything with that, or... See, what would really help is if I had a, um... A good motherboard that was capable of doing SLI. I don't. So I can't do that little cheat sheet. Utter scum. All right. Well, now we're back on this whole graphics card thing. Because what I decided, to, I decided to pick up this one. It's one of the more powerful things I could possibly get for computers at this moment, as far as I can tell. Um. Don't have enough money so that I could do that SLI thing. I think I, the dude's just going to be really angry with me if I decide to uh, build his computer and make him pay extra money. I'm not up for that. <sighs> this thing is staring back at me and mocking me. <laughs> uh, well, we got... Okay, we got some stuff that's a little bit cheaper. Uh near the bottom what do we got okay crossfire stuff because maybe i can make the crossfire thing work if it's a cheap enough card perhaps i got two of these things oh it's an sli though okay shit uh i have one of these things in my uh, inventory uh just the specs on this thing suck but uh, it's kind of one of the last things I can possibly think. The last possible idea I have for upgrading this guy's computer is SLI. 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 Who'd have thought that I'd get this stuck? I'm trying to come up with an idea about this. All right. So, I'm going to have two of these, and I'm going to have one of these. I can pick apart a whole bunch of the things that are inside this computer and put them all back together. That is fine. Aside from that, I am a little bit high and dry. Oh, hey! I can collect my payment for this. What am I doing? Well, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Was there something I didn't do with this? Trying to recall if there was something that I didn't do with that. I don't know. Well, I know that I was waiting for a cooler to come in so that I could work with this computer. So let's go ahead and just chill out and build a PC. That being said, if I manage to actually pull this one off today, I'd be surprised. Bow, 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 bow. Memory. Let's see. Don't think I need to slap too much into this. Uh... Oh wait, I already I already slapped something in there, so that's cool. I kind of already know that my plan is to get some new graphics card for the other. Mm, I might be. This is a tad bit irresponsible. But I'm going to try something. I'm going to take that other dude's CP, or, you know, GPU. I'm going to plug it into this one. Whoa. Oh, whoops. That's right. I need to have my uh, power supply set up. Let's see. 
Yeah, we are. So one thing that I really like about um, computers and building them nowadays is that power supplies are a lot more module than they used to be. Yeah, you could get like the standard power supplies with the standard leads that are coming out, but you can also get them that are modular so that you can you can pull out the cables that you don't use. And that's always been very convenient and very nice. Okay, am I forgetting anything? I think I'm pretty much good. Well, I need to install an OS. That's one thing. Uh, I just feel like the score for this is probably not going to be that good. And again, I am doing all of this for this jackass who hasn't even promised to pay me. This is such a bad idea. Oh, right. No boot. Oh, that's what I'm forgetting. Jeez. <laughs> Can't have a computer without a freaking... Yeah. Here. Gotta plug in the hard drive, Bitby. No, it's fine. Everything works on the cloud now. There are there are no physical storages now. It all works on like, you know, unicorn wizardry. Uh, let's not install that just yet. Oh, wow. The OS was already installed on this. I wonder if this computer had any kind of viruses or anything on it. Ooh. My output is just a little bit wonky. Maybe it's because of all like the uh, the dark colors. Um don't have to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and install this anyways. I am very curious whether or not people would be interested in a, uh, a custom soundtrack for this at all. Okay, nothing. Never mind. Sorry, paranoid. Now, I didn't install the most amazing things in this computer, but I didn't install anything that was too much of a slouch either. So what I'm hoping is that that'll make me hit 3,000 and I can just call it a day for this computer. <laughs> that said, if I call it a day for this computer, and if it turns out that other guy's computer is, um, you know, a lot harder, and if I gotta send it back, I'm gonna have to send it back without the GPU, and he's gonna be nuclear. <laughs> Just like, what the fuck? You took my graphics card and put it in someone else's computer? I know I would wring someone's neck if that were the case. Oh, jeez, sorry. There, I was just going to move my mouse over to a particular window. There we go. Works! Once again, once I'm in a more safe environment, I'll go ahead and pick up one of these workbenches. But not before. I made that mistake before, and then I immediately hit a wall and almost uh, ruined my business. Now we're nearly done. Okay, uh, I am capable of hitting 3,000. Now it's time to be a cheap ass and figure out what I can tear off to make it less expensive. 
Because what kind of CPU did I end up putting in this thing? Ooh, an i5. Okay. Not bad. But... Gotta go lower. I'm sorry. These are, like, you know... They're tech... These are basically, like, uh, tech scammers, essentially. I don't want to hand him anything too good. Um... Thirty, da, da, da. pretty dang good for an i3. I wonder, did this do anything? Probably not. This is probably a mistake. But good lordy Lou, I want to see what'll happen. I mean, I feel like a whole lot of this is just going to be based on the graphics card itself, and the graphics card is pretty freaking good. Uh, Performance-wise, is the um, is the stream coming out properly for everybody else? Because I'm looking at the output of my my stream and it's a little bit weird. Like I'm not detecting any drop frames. It's just the graph is not consistent. I think what would help with the tedium of this thing is if they had a couple of different demos to show. And I don't know if uh, 3D Mark has a whole bunch of demos to show, but... Again, I feel like it wouldn't hurt. Here we see the wild Bitby in his natural habitat of computer gobbledygook and computer chips. Stumbles aimlessly and somehow manages to connect 30 computers together. Um, that's not bad. So, could I scale it down even further? This is an i3. I want to be efficient. I don't want to give these guys a good thing. Uh, we have this, like, standard-ass Celeron that's sitting in here. Maybe that'll do something. Again, for the most part, I don't think I need to do anything with the CPU. It seems like the GPU will be doing all of the heavy load. Oh, but I do need to add thermal paste. Holy crap. Who wants to bet that, like, now is the time where it's going to be uh, under? So, fun fact, I have a, um, a stack of crackers sitting over here, and it's so tempting to go and, like, just nibble on them. But I'm currently streaming, and I'm just, just like, that's going to be really annoying. Oh, look at the frame drop. <laughs> I mean, especially since, um, oh god, that one claptrap filter. The claptrap filter is just insanely blown out when it comes to any sound effects. So here. Yeah, you hear that? That's the sound of crinkling. my entire computer out if I got four frames per second. No, don't throw me out. Claptrap is not very efficient on resources. Oh, speaking of Claptrap, let's, uh, let's save that preset just so that it's set and ready to go. Ooh. See, the GPU, the GPU does a pretty good job 
Again, that's currently what my computer is currently um, clinging to life on. Oh, I just lowered the... Mm. Okay, all right. I understand. So I can't do the Celeron. Gotcha. Um, can I do the Pentium? It's like Celeron I can't do, but can I possibly do the Pentium? I'm going to go for the 3300 megahertz. And my goal here is to get like the smallest amount of power possible into this computer. So I don't have to deal with um, the guilt. Of handing over a bunch of very nice technology to a bunch of scammers. I mean, I'm kind of a fool for even listening to their nonsense, but still. Okay, still ugly. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to have to go with at least an i3. Shoot. Oh, well. Oh my god, wait a minute, I can click on this shelf? Oh, it's an inventory! Dang, look, it's a physical way to look at your inventory now. That's cool. I'm glad they did something with this shelf. Like, it used to just be a static background with nothing. Also, you can tell that this isn't an American game, considering you got, like... You know, like, British plugs and things. Where do those cables even lead, by the way? Like, I see the power cable, and it just sort of um, splits off to nowhere. You know, Mint, funny you say that, like, I'd throw my entire computer out if I got four frames per second. You know, I know of some computers that they're really, they're kind of junkers, but at the end of the day, you can still do quite a bit of um, stuff with those junkers. Like, I got old Windows XP level computers that they really wouldn't do anything for um, computing-wise nowadays, but you could do something like... Well, you could set it up to play, like, a, a Discord bot if you were interested in doing that. It's a little bit of a chunky way to run a Discord bot, but you could do it. And have it, like, independent of all of your other uh, pieces of hardware. So, yeah, that's something you could do. Okay, so we've tried the Pentium. we tried the Celeron. Uh, we tried that i3. I wonder if maybe... Because this is, like, the... Oh, wait. Hmm. Actually, I think this one is kind of crappier. Okay. Fine, let's go with the sure thing. But now we need to uh, we need to run 3D Mark one more time. Now I've set up a couple of um, a couple of bots for my Discord servers, and I currently have them all running independently on their own Raspberry Pis, which is kind of an interesting. Th uh, site to see because it's just like three Raspberry Pis that are sitting there and wirelessly connected to the internet of the house. It's cool looking, that's for sure. Oh, and if you don't know what a Raspberry Pi is, it's uh, basically a tiny little computer, well, like a, a little credit card sized uh, computer circuit board, and it is a full computer, and you just got to set it up. It's a neat thing, and I figured it was uh, a nice way to run the bots independently 24-7 without having to have a full computer system set up. You know, like, I didn't want to have it running on my main PC just because, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if security was one of my main problems. I think it was, I just didn't want to have my main PC running on a constant basis. However, with a Raspberry Pi, you're just connecting that thing via, like, a cell phone charging cable. And, like, that's barely any power at all. And for the price, you end up getting yourself some um, some nice sound bots or just, like, sound effect bots. Or just little uh, bots that do tiny little commands. And they all have their own little cases, and they have their own little heat sinks. 
It's kind of an adorable little setup. Well, there we go. We got the computer done. And now I just got to build the case. She's ready to go, but, um, again, I'm using somebody else's... <laughs> I'm using somebody else's graphics card to make that happen. That's not a good thing. Okay. Let's send him off. Do get back to me. All right. Collected amount of no dollars. Collect you. All right, you you gave me five stars. Thank you. All right, now for you, I am going to need that part. Shoot, <laughs> foiled once again. Oh God, it's Bruce Van Cleef again. Just when you thought the technological fates could not be any more cruel, they have delivered the ultimate blow. I will make sure that my editor hears no end of all this, since the whole blasted debacle was his idea in the first place. Anyway, I was within a gnat's whisker of having my entire draft finally converted into a document when disaster struck. The computer completely froze. When I tried to use it, it said, System Disk Error. There was a mere handful of pages left to convert. Please, I implore you, fix this so I can finally be done with this editing process and move on with my life. Best regards, Bruce Van Cleef. Replace the hard drive. <laughs> Shit. Well, I got some bad news for you. Um, unfortunately, that hard drive is probably completely dead now. And you're going to need to go off and find another hard drive to replace it. And you're going to have to rework that entire draft unless you can find somebody to completely uh, go over the disk and, you know, pull all the files off of it. Which is possible, but you're going to have to pay somebody. Sorry, buddy. Anyway. Uh, which one of these? E okay, it was the easy store, so I'm gonna go with that guy. Cool. Sure, I'll accept it. Urgent upgrade required. Hey, things aren't working fast enough, performance-wise. I Can you aim for a benchmark of that? I need 16 gigs of RAM. <clears throat> uh, plastic green cables. Can oh, Jesus Christ. Green! Greedy bastards. Plastic green cable. I'm fine. Yeah. Any specifics about this? Super awesome green cables. All right. Hmm. The good news is that if I buy like one set of green cables, I'll have th I'll have them forever. So. All right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with tight. Toy, like a toy girl. Sure. Okay, and 16 gigs of RAM. Um, might be beneficial for me to go and just pick that up. What's the PC stats? Okay. Two eight. Okay, 2800 megahertz. Hmm. I don't know if I have any G skill rip job. Let me go check. Oh, there it is. G skill rip jaw. But what he was asking for, what, well, what he already has in his computer is rip jaw eight gig. And y'all don't seem to have that in here. Hmm. I think the easiest thing for me to do for this at this stage would be just grab myself that team group T force dark silver sixteen gigs twenty eight hundred. Same setup. And then upgrade uh, to that number. Jesus Christ. I don't know. Okay, well, let me take a look at what other parts he's got in his computer and see what I could possibly do to fix it. Uh, or, you know, to improve from there. He's got an i5. That's not bad. You've got a 1060 founder? Oh, my God, really? You know what? Sure. I'll, I'll, figure, out the, um, I'll, I'll figure out the score in just a little while. Looking to upgrade your piece. Everybody's asking for score stuff. This is starting to get stupid. All right, 16 gigs of memory. What do you have? Oh, wait. Are you the exact same guy? What? Wait a minute. Dash it. 
These are completely different people, and they're they're asking for um, upgrade. They want upgrades to 16 gigs of RAM as well. Jesus. Strange people. Okay. I, I guess I'll go ahead and add another one of these to you. Sure. Well, the budget is 365, so... I'm pretty much covering the entirety of the budget with RAM. I certainly hope this isn't a case of I need to be paying close attention to doubling up on RAM that they already had. Oh. Shoot. Just occurred to me that this thing actually is 8 gigs and I wasn't paying attention. Uh, well, you know what? Better to find that out now as opposed to later. Ripjaw 4, 8 gig, 2800. Hmm. Really? Oh, hold up. Oh. Ooh. Ripjaw 4, 2800. You have the same thing. I swear to God, this is a conspiracy. <laughs> okay. Uh, well then, I, I guess I'll go ahead and add a couple of those, and then uh, keep the cost down for their upgrades, and if they need anything else to upgrade, then I... I'll have it available. Sure, I'll accept it, why not? Bespoke PC request. Hi, are you available for a job? I need a new PC. Do you think you can get Flight Simulator minimum spec running? Can you make this your number one priority, please? Don't try and pass off any used parts. I want all new stuff, my god. Having a bit of a panic attack. Everybody and their dog is asking me for stuff. So PC can play flight simulator minimum specs. Okay. Well, I can't imagine that that is going to require too much in terms of hardware. So I'm going to choose to get a smaller case. Uh, we are going to need a motherboard. Since I know what I'm doing when it comes to these things, I'm going to grab a Skylake. Okay, so Flight Simulator, you said? Okay, yeah, Flight Simulator. Two gigs of RAM. Um, do I have two gigs of RAM? Just like, you know, it's got to be new stuff too. So no, I don't have any new stuff. All right. Well, thanks, buddy, for not making it easy for me. I will match this stuff as close as I possibly can. Adding that. Video RAM and... Okay, the storage is 30 gigs, so I'm not going to need anything intensive. Cool. Alright, the CPU is the Pentium G... Or 4,500. The price is kind of going way the hell up on all of these things that I'm picking up now. Hopefully, this will actually make me a considerable amount of money. Oh, it just occurred to me this is a lot of work. It's okay. It's okay. We'll be fine. It's cool. We, we know what we're supposed to be doing here. Okay, so... R9... 20... Yeah, 283G. Okay, so pr basically any of these things. Okay. Uh, I already have some in my inventory. Are any of them new? Nope, all of them are used. <laughs> this guy! I swear. Alright, well, you're not asking for much. Okay, uh, video RAM, 3 gigs. So There we go. This is a very big cart. Uh, 
How am I forget? Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Before I forget about this, I keep forgetting about this. I need to pick up... Got CPU on the list, so that's cool. I need a cooler, though. And why not? Let's just, like, cheap out and get the smallest and saddest thing. We're getting memory. We picked our graphics card. We picked our storage. We need a power supply. There's there's something I need. I'll get you, like, 300 uh, watt. Gotcha, case. Okay. I think your computer is set... Ready to go. Like, this is a scary amount of work. This might be a little bit over-encumbering. I wish they would uh, meter this stuff out a little bit. Maybe. Anyway, uh, need upgrade work done. Got money. Can you make the upgrade? I'm looking for at least this in benchmarks. Is this okay? Reasonable deadline. Never cleaned it out. Do you like cable modding? I saw great plastic red ones the other day. Okay. Sure. Tight. Plastic. Red. Added. More crap. Help. Repairs needed. I need to replace the motherboard on this thing. Can't believe my PC broke. Uh, <laughs> the good news is I found my hamster. PC lives on the floor. Knows it sometimes runs. It's a bit slow. Okay. This it should be easy. A320M. Um. Okay, what specific kind? MTech Plus. MTech Plus. It's just this, okay. You seem easy enough. Please help. <laughs> so many people want my help. Help. Ah, I'm scared. You work with computers, right? Something's definitely broken. All my files disappeared. You've got to get it done by this day. Have you heard of EVGA? They're meant to be pretty good. Those plastic white cables look really nice. Um, hmm. Replace the hard drive and the power supply. What? So wait, why are you asking me about EVGA? Because none of those things connect with EVGA at all as far as I'm concerned. Unless there's something I'm completely forgetting. Like, is there a hard drive for EVGA that I don't know about? Let me check. A data, Xi'an. No. No, EVGA does not work with... Why? Hmm. The conductor is saying that the movie industry has gone too far. Yeah. <coughs> Trying to work this out. EVGA? Why? Why are you asking for EVGA? They don't make PSUs. Wait, do, wait oh, no, no, wait, do they? Actually, no, no, no. EVGA does make PSUs. Do do I have EVGA PS? Oh, I did! Gerbada! Check it! <laughs> Sweet. Your mind is on autocorrect. That's okay. M mine is on uh, power failure at all times. So, sweet. All right. Replace the uh, hard disk drive. All right, so what's the hard disk drive? This should be easy enough. An easy store 2500. Well, 250 rather. Simple. Like, my, the bill is running really high, but if I can complete all of these missions. It's going to be insane. Okay, certainly. Blake at filmtruthfreehosting.co.uk. Film industry. Oh, God. <laughs> Dear fam film, did you know that cult classic Babes of Planet Bath Motor is not currently available for purchase anywhere? And yet, when a brave fan stepped forward to preserve this culturally significant work, they sent in the lawyers. How many more films must be lost to the decaying and rotten film industry before we stand up and say no more? Film truth. The fight back starts here. It's time for an independent authority to step forward and hold them to account for their heinous activities in pursuit of ever greater profit. Now, 
Blake Potterberg is proud to present a new grassroots media organization, Film Truth, dedicated to rooting out corruption and profiteering at the highest levels in the stagnant swamp of the film industry. Blake Paderberg is an industry professional with over five years' experience behind enemy lines as assistant junior moderator at disgraced film reviews of Orifice Movie Maniacs. Sick of the behind-the-scenes hypocrisy, he bravely left to found the Film Classics Archive, which was then forced out of business by greedy corporate interests. To support Film Truth, go to www.filmtruth.freehosting.co.uk <laughs> Free hosting. And sign up as a backer. You'll get early access to every breaking story and an exclusive discussion forum for the true culprit cult cinema fan. Blake Paderberg, film rights activist. Action! At least he's still got business. The noises I make sometimes, I swear you bet you made them yourself at some point. Just noises of excitement. Dude, it's so like exciting. He's still he's still flooding my inbox. It's amazing. <laughs> Anywho, so there's that. Fix my PC? No. <laughs> Best British man. You thought conductor story was over. Uh, I, I'm sure it's over now. I don't know how much farther they could possibly push it. I'm sure it's just you know the epilogue of what happened with the you know the good old dude. Anyway. Something's definitely broken. I'm sure someone like you can work out what's wrong. My files are all gone. Mortoni components are meant to be the bomb. I hear 3D Mark is a great way to test stability. Okay. Sounds to me like his hard drive has failed. So right off the bat, I'm going to go pick up a 320 gigabyte thing. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. There we go. Just to get that set up. And then you want 3D Mark. Jeez. The FBI fried my computer. This is a hate crime. <laughs> a hate crime for birds. Can you fix my PC? Hi, are you available for a job? Can't believe my PC broke. I can't find any of my documents. I don't know what's happening. You're the expert. I'm going to need it by this day at the latest. Have you heard of more, Tony? <laughs> Do you like cable modding? I saw great plastic orange. Dude. Why? Come on, man. Fine. You're running out the budget. Jeez. MI6, open up, sir, or we'll take away your TV license. All right. So, a Mortoni Easy Store 2,500 gigabyte. Or uh, 250, rather. I'm just so used to bigger hard drives. Got another one. You see how many of these things I gotta work on? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Good day, so my rig is running really slowly performance-wise. Can you aim for a benchmark of that? Don't try and pass off any used parts. My brother has MSI in his PC. He says they're the best. So, what I'm going to assume is that what he wants is a new graphics card. And the budget is 285 So, I'm gonna go... Well, first of all, let me go ahead and look in here. All right, that's what he currently has. So let's go to the graphics cards. Let's, um, can I filter it by, no, okay. MSI, MSI uh, price descending. Again, the price we're looking for here is 285. Ooh, just enough money to pick up the gold edition. Look at that. How different is this one compared to this one, though? It's not, is it? Not really. One of them is just like five bucks more. <laughs> because it's gold edition, you see, and it has a slightly higher megahertz clocking speed. Yeah, screw it. I'm going to go with that. Uh, mm, no, you know what? The game's hinting at something there. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, I'll get him the most expensive one. Yeah, get gold. There's gold in them hills. Gold. Right. 
And I'm... I have no idea, but I really hope it hits that. Yes, Chaotic Strike. Okay, all right. We finally reached the end of everybody's requests. We just got all this stuff in. Cool, cool. So that lasted for so long, I think I'm going to have to actually put all of this stuff off for the next stream. Because right now, it's like, again, it's 940. And if I were to go and uh, do all of these guys' computers, I'm, I'm going to be I'm gonna be scared. Yeah, I need to wait until uh, I finally get the parts in order to do anything with that computer. <sighs> Which is slowly, slowly becoming just nothing but a big-ass mess. Anyway, so we got ourselves a graphics card, motherboard, storage, cables, memory, cases, motherboards, memory, CPU processor, graphics card, CPU cooling, power supply, cable, motherboards, power supply, storage, storage, cables, graphics cards, and a power trench and a pear tree. Ugh. Like, this is going to be hell on toast. <laughs> I feel like the next time I play PC Building Simulator, it's literally only going to be the first day. I also don't know how they're planning on uh, piling all these things into this little space. Like, d does this does this even have enough space to be able to hold all of those computers? I don't know. Like, I'm feeling like it probably doesn't. Yeah, it stops right here. Are there any other, like, spaces that you could be putting things in? Like, I don't have enough space to put stuff in an inventory over here. You demand hell on toast. I don't. Uh, hold that to build the PC storage cupboard. Um, you know, I wonder if that would... I don't really know what exactly happens to all the PCs that don't end up inside my house. I guess it'll be a fun little learning experience. Cause yep, we're gonna we are about to spend two thousand dollars on all big old load of this stuff. Order will arrive tomorrow. Okay, it's all that. All this stuff is in transit. This is gonna be scary. Again, I feel like we're probably going to uh, end it for today, but I want to see... I want to see the torrential wave of shit that ends up on my doorstep here. Bite the bullet on a second desk or uh, the cupboard. Thought about the cupboard? I don't know about the second desk. The second desk will definitely help with speed. I don't know. I don't have a whole lot of money to be able to work with this stuff. All right. Look at that list. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> On the plus side, I'll be able to get through a lot of these computers in like one day, probably, as long as I'm proactive with it. <laughs> oh my god. Right. Yeah, I think um, I'm gonna have to run through the whole lot of these things. I mean, the good, I'm gonna be level seven the next time. Oh, hello, Kevin. How's it going? Yeah, sadly, you have uh, reached pretty much the end of the stream. And then the next time that I uh, log in, I'm going to be doing that nightmare. But yeah, it's way too late for me to, you know, to try and, like, sink my teeth into this. But that's okay, because I think tomorrow, like, well, I, no, not tomorrow. But, like, the next time that I do this stream, I'll definitely have plenty of time to work with that. Yeah, business is booming. Everyone knows my business, and unfortunately, that means a ton of people want my business. <laughs> Wait, what the heck? Yeah, 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 yeah. Again, it's real late in the night. I don't really want to uh, start cutting into that just yet. I feel like that that's a good... What the hell? I know that, like, whenever... <sighs> I know that I'm going to start playing PC Building Simulator the next time. And I'm going to look at that, and I'm going to be screaming at my past self, just like, Why? Why did you do this to me? Oh, well. Not much that I can do about that. Anyways, yeah, I'm, I'm going to end the stream here. So, thanks everybody who popped in the stream. Uh, and especially, thanks Mint for the uh, little, you, you know, the, the little raid that uh, happened just recently. 
Perfect. That was fun. And I appreciate everybody who popped in just to watch me or for at any small periods of time that you did. Now, if you want to take a look at this after it's done, I feel like I'm going to have to take it to a little bit of a chopping block since there was that part at the beginning where I was fixing things. Uh, as well as, you know, the, um, the ear destruction. But once I do that, I will be uploading it to the YouTube channel as soon as I get some time. I have a bit of a backlog again, so... Again, when I find time and when I'm able to, it will be uploaded to the YouTube. I stream on Saturdays, Sundays, and Wednesdays, all of them starting at around 7 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. And if you want to know some information about some other games that I am playing, uh, I've been doing a sort of a retrospective of the Ace Attorney series. I do that on Saturdays, completely blind. So if you're interested in watching me play that, I've been doing that. Uh, Patent Time mods, that kind of thing. Um, I have been, again, PC Building Simulator, and that's going to be a mountain the next time I do it. There's that. Uh, at some point very soon, I want to do a VR stream, so look out for that. That might be happening on Sunday. We'll see. There's that. Also, I've been doing, like, Smash games with people, but uh, I haven't done that in a little bit because I've been putting a little bit of space between the days that I've been doing Smash. It's been getting a little bit stale for me as of late, so I want to put a little bit of space between them so that I'm a little bit more excited when I jump in. Okay, enough rambling for me. I'm going to get a move on. So again, thanks for coming out. See you next time.